Um, I think my favorite moment from the whole two years of IB was, uh, well, I think easily one of the uh, debates that we had in history class. Russia versus U.S., the whole, you know, stand on the Cuban Missile Crisis, who was right and all that. We, you know, se separated, into two, separated into two opposing teams that had to take two different stances in a, you know, in a debate, in an argument. So it was, you know, very formal and it was very structured and I thought, I thought it really showed how, uh, how close and we had become over the two years and how uh, comfortable we were with, uh, with discussing and disagreeing with each other. I, I, have, I have a feeling that and if you did the same thing in a grade 12 provincial class, wouldn't have worked, wouldn't have went quite the same as in our class. We're also uh, mature about it and that we, we become so close and comfortable with each other and that our, you know, our skills and just discussing had become so good. So I think I really like the debates in history class. Uh, to Miss Ronahan, I would like to say, well, quite simply, thank you very much. What you were to me and everybody in the class were, you were the leader, you're the role model, you were the, you know, the mother bear that would be both, you know, very, very loving and gentle to us at times, but when we needed it, you would give us a good kick in the butt when we needed a little kickstart on an essay or getting chemistry marks up, whatever it may be, you were there to keep us in line, keep us in check. What you've done for us is simply amazing. The amount of work that you put in for us, the time, effort, focus, stress that you put on, you put on yourself. You have guided us through a very difficult program. You've guided us through really the hardest thing I know I've done in my life. And I'm really proud to say that with your help and with the support of you and the, all the teachers, all the, all, the, all the teachers we had and everybody in our class that I was able to get through it. And I would like to say thank you very much for everything you've done. Um, my favorite moment was probably the art show because it kind of just stands out in my mind as the one moment where I felt really proud and successful of what I've done in IB for the last two years. I remember being really nervous about it because I didn't think that my art was like up to standards or whatever. Just having that confidence at the actual art show it just made me that much proud, like proud art. More proud. More proud. I'm pretty sure prouder is a word. It made me more proud to um, like display my art and like there was like a level of confidence I can't really explain. Like it was just something you've never experienced before and it made you feel really, really successful. Another reason that I really liked it is also because it was kind of like wrapping up art and it was nice to see that everything, all the hard work that you've done for the last two years is like paying off and it felt really good. Yeah. I would like to thank you very much for all your help, for support and encouragement, and even when things were pretty rough, like you were always there no matter what like the problem was, whether it was small or something pretty major. We were like a backbone, like you know, we could always come to talk to you. That just felt really good, like having you there, like knowing that you weren't going to let us fail and that you would, like, you believed in us and that you believed that we could all past IV. I'd just like to thank you for all your like endless support and encouragement because that means a lot. Thank you. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you. My favorite moment in IV was probably when we were at the art show and it was such a great moment, like the opening, and uh, me and you started talking and for some reason we started talking about scoliosis and you told me about your back brace and uh, how when you went to parties, people used to pop their beers open on your back brace. Here's hoping that if you're at a party, you'll maybe bring the brace with you and let us open some on you. That's <laughs> 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 something you should be saying to your teachers. Stop. My second favorite moment, actually probably one of my favorite moments, was when we were in biology. And, and this was when we still had Jacob in the class. And uh, he went to the bathroom, and we decided, Mr. McGarrick said, we should set the clocks forward and pretend like he's been gone for half an hour, because the most you were allowed was seven minutes. So we set it forward, and when he came back, Mr. Uh, McGarrick just looked at him, he's like, why are you late? <laughs> and the look on his face was just the funniest thing that I've ever seen, and the whole class went along with it. He believed he was actually like 30 <laughs> minutes. He flipped. He, 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 so he, 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 we made him believe it. Okay, it's kind of bad that all of our favorite moments are like when we're being mean. <laughs> <laughs> like we play tricks on people. Like, <laughs> uh, what I want to say is, um, well, it's actually kind of, it's kind of another moment, but I remember when I first did, I did my first draft of my extended essay, 
or I wrote the first thousand words, I came to you and told you about it, and you told me how pr proud you were of me. Like, that pushed me forward to do the, complete the whole thing, and I worked so hard on it because of you. Like, having you there knowing that it made, made you proud was, it made me work hard on it. So, I want to thank you a lot for being there for us, because I don't think without you we probably would have, half of us wouldn't have completed it. So, thanks a lot. That's You're going, okay. that, go. It's choppy like my personality. What was your favorite moment in IB? <laughs> Talking about drugs and bio. <laughs> Why is it your favorite? I can't say that. I can't do it. That's a horrible thing to say. <laughs> to say our discussions in general. Yeah, like learning about like the smallest thing. And then just throw in randomly. Just be like, oh, like our discussions yeah. on <laughs> things such as this and this and drugs and this yeah. and this. <laughs> slutty days. And drugs. <laughs> I actually learned so much in that class, like way more than I think I learned in anything else. Yeah, I also, I liked the books that we read for English, was that really lame too? Because I enjoyed reading those mm, over the summer. I like that. Um, you like them? Yeah, Eddie, Oops, I like I mean, I like them too. <laughs> um, what other classes did we have? I don't remember. What else I enjoyed? Uh, math? You enjoy math, you got like, math, the award. I math I sat alone in the back corner and did honestly like you not did. a lot more work than I did. You were probably really productive. <clears throat> I was re I never did math and work ever. Oh, is that how you got the award? <laughs> yeah. Oh my By god, never doing Spencer, homework. you've ruined my math career. <laughs> <laughs> Your math career? Mm -hmm. I was okay. gonna be an Einstein. Uh, oh, I liked it. I, I enjoyed when we watched uh, Horton Here's a Who. As our first like introduction to TOK, do you guys remember that? Yeah. yeah. We watched The Matrix. Too. <laughs> yeah, The Matrix. All of our TOK days were good when we watched movies. Then we had to start out to think about things, and life got hard. What? Um, what would you English like to say about him? French. No, I'm not finished writing yeah, French. Moment, Sam. <laughs> French. 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 History, Mr. Vidito made fun of me a lot. That was good. Short. Tips. That was great. Um, what about Gary? Gary's class. <laughs> stand up and read in a circle because the grass is too wet to sit down. <laughs> so there was like no point actually being outside. Oh man, that was when we were reading uh, the thing, the one about the girl. Yeah, Sibuleto. Oh, oh, and the zone. Teet Noir and stuff. Teet, yeah, Teet Noir. Was it the zone? Tarzan. Yeah, the zone. Tarzan, that's what it was. Uh, yeah, that was my favorite French memory, I think. I think of one of the courses we Chemistry? had. Chemistry? Chemistry, there were a few favorite moments. I like it when. Um, I like the labs with the Mr. pink. Mr. Seely had demotivation little <laughs> speeches. Mm -hmm. um, um, oh, titration! Yeah, yeah, you and J you're and Jill's okay, perfect no, fuchsia. Okay, real though, favorite moment when Jill and I got the desired endpoint for our titration. That was like I have never felt so proud of myself. How, describe the color it was. Uh, it was a nice like light pink and before we'd only got like a little bit like a deep magenta color and really <laughs> what we were aiming for was like such a soft pink it was barely there and it was mostly clear and like we finally got it and it just it felt so good. Um, oh and also that one time Mr. Vidito didn't let us see the end of Pearl Harbor. Do you remember? Oh, oh my god, I'm so mad about these that. These are not good happy moments. <laughs> okay, but do you remember? I had to go on YouTube and do watch you the ending. Like, how do you do titration? I tell such good jokes, okay? Oh, also, the past, the present, the future walked into a Oh my god. <laughs> it was tense. <laughs> You're gonna have the longest part in this video. <laughs> A bar was walked into by the passive voice. This is another one that I enjoy. No, I don't like that. I think <laughs> I like that. I don't remember this. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Is there anything you'd like to say to Mrs. Ryan? 
Um, yeah, I'd like to say thank you for not letting me die during our exam week or any of the time leading up to exams when I was at musical rehearsal for hours and hours and hours. Like, it would all be okay because every time I'd come back to school, you'd be like, oh, like, are you doing okay? And I'd be like, yeah, thanks for asking. Like, that's nice of you. And, like, that whole time, I just, I survived. And that's all because of you. So, yeah, thanks. I guess, like... Thanks for saving Emily's life. Yeah, thanks for saving my <laughs> life. And when I was, like, literally sprinting from the theater to the school for, for an exam and everybody at the theater was like, oh my god, like, how are you surviving and, like, how are you not, like, dead on the floor somewhere? And I was oh. just like... I remember one of your favorite moments when you won the freaking essay contest and got a bunch of oh, money. Oh yeah, no, Eddie, I won that contest twice. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> you... meanie. <laughs> English prodigy nerd. Okay, anything else? Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, well, there's a few of them. I guess I'll start with I'll, I'll start with chemistry. So for in grade 11, Emily and I, we we were so excited about this titration, and we really wanted to drop the bass a bit. We stayed actually after class to do multiple titrations. And we just kept messing it up, and we would drop the bass, and it would turn fuchsia, one drop, and it was fuchsia. Until so this year, we, we were with Mr. Seeley, and we spent like half an hour on one trial, and finally we learned how to do half drops, and we got it. I feel like you should be in the that picture was, for this moment. So we did lives. this. We <laughs> did it. There's actually so much pride swelling in me right now. Really? Like, it's true. Just, oh, yeah. and yeah. my second favorite chemistry moment is when <laughs> Catherine left for like a half hour bathroom break <laughs> and we actually moved the entire class to the chemistry lab so when she came back she had no idea where we were that was funny <laughs> <laughs> my last one was history grade 11 when we all had a massive war on each other that sounds a lot worse than it actually was basically all the boys were attacking each other with like nuclear weapons in this make-believe wor world that we have. And all of us girls were like rainbows and butterflies and let's share our water. And so Andrew McNair, in space. yeah, garbage in space and everything. And Andrew McNair said he was gonna poison everyone's water supply with like poisonous blowfish. And things just got really dramatic. And pinky swears were involved. So it was. It was a good moment. It was a good time. I want to say thank you and just like you're you're amazing and I enjoyed our breakfast for the exams. It helped a lot because I don't usually get chocolate milk and <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that really helped and I thank you. I don't usually get chocolate milk. <laughs> okay. So it was a big bonus. I'm going to edit the hell out of this because it's my own. What was your favorite moment? Um, uh, my favorite moment was, um, I think it was in grade 11, uh, history class with Mr. Vedito. It was really early in the year and we hadn't really gotten to know each other as a class very well. The, the moment that I remember was uh, the strategy competition type of game that we played. We were split into groups and we, we each had to make a, like a self-sustaining civilization that would uh, outcompete the other ones and uh, it was like imaginary and we could put in whatever we want to like defeat the other teams. I, I really like this because it, first of all, <laughs> Andrew McNair, he was, um, he was on my team. He got really into it and it was probably one of the first times that we had to compete with each other so we got less nervous to like yell at each other. It brought us closer together, I guess, and um, it was a really fun experience. We we took chairs and we built a fort, and we did a lot of unnecessary stuff, but that's what made it fun. And yeah, that was my favorite moment. Oh, hello there. Didn't see you. Uh, my favorite moment was um, in math class when me and Spencer were just uh, chilling all the time. We didn't really get much work done, but it was really fun because we we would throw eraser shavings at. Jill and uh, Santa and Hannah and 
Yeah, they, they enjoyed it a lot. Another favorite moment in math class was when uh, Mr. Cutcliffe pulled a prank on us, I guess, by um, having someone from the office call, call him and tell him that the police was after him or something. <laughs> and it was the same day that he told us a joke about putting children in manholes or something. Yeah. Or maybe it was, no, it was after that or... Mm -hmm. yeah. We had already found out about that so most of us assumed that it was real and that... Well I assumed it was real, I thought it was serious, I don't know why everyone thought it was so funny. I don't know, it could have been really bad but... Yeah. But apparently it was just a joke and... I, it was me, Mr. Kalka. Don't do it again. Uh, yeah, thank you Ms. Ronahan so much for everything you've done. Um, I know you specifically did a lot for me uh, for my extended essay because you took the role of my supervisor um, basically like a few days before it was due <laughs> because I, I had been uh, with Mr. Burzins and he couldn't be my supervisor anymore so thank you for putting that the burden on yourself and just to save me from failing <laughs> IB I guess and um, thank you for doing a lot more than than you had to do. Okay, let me just say thank, thank you. you. Um, my favorite moment in IB would have to be the art show because that was probably one of my proudest moments. I got to show off what I've been working on for two years and everyone who, who came got to see it and um, it was really exciting to finally be done with art as well. Done with art. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I can cut stuff out. Please do. I won't make you look like an idiot on purpose. Just a little bit though. Yeah. Please. Maybe I'll do something like I did with Liz and put it in the air. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite moment. <laughs> I mean, I'm a communist woman. Woman. That was so funny. I was really nervous actually for the art show because everyone would be uh, looking at all I'd done and it was everything I was proud of and hoping that they would like it and so I was really excited when I got good reactions and it was probably def one of the proudest moments of IB and so that would make it my favorite. Also marking the end of one of my classes and a lot earlier than the chemistry students which was fun. Yeah that was weird that you guys finished a whole class. Yeah like a month before you guys. That was great. Yeah. That was so weird. I was and there was, was food. Not fair. There was good food there too. Yeah. So I came too late for the food. At the art show? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I well, I stuffed my face all night, and I got to meet the governor, lieutenant, lieutenant governor. Madison's grandfather. Left-handed governor. Left-handed governor. Yeah, yeah. left-handed yeah. governor. Actually? <laughs> yeah, he is. What? Where is the F in that word? Like, why do is people that say an that? Eagle? I'm sure you should say it after. Okay, what do you have to say to Miss Ronahan? Yeah, I have to say thank you so much for everything you've done. You probably put in more effort than I did, anyways, in the actual IB program um, to just like help us along on the way, and you were amazing at that. And what? Keep going. What did you say? No. Shut up, keep going. This is good. You're distracting me. Okay. Um. Yeah, she put in more effort what? than you. Yeah, she put in more effort than I did. We all know that. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Shit, what was I gonna say? Oh, that's slutty. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm putting that in. <laughs> oh, yes, that is very that's slutty. That's really slutty. Something I'm I would so wear, definitely. So slutty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, shut up everyone. Okay, so thank, thank you. you so much again. Thank you, Miss Ronahan. You were amazing. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a roll. Can we? Can we? Okay. Can we? I guess that's it. And I'm gonna miss you. Hopefully, I'll see you later. Peace. Say out. I love you. Love you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, Still I here. just wanted to say.
saying that the fact that you always had like snacks in your office is really comforting. Because whenever I was having like bad day or something, I know I would always go in and you had like Hershey Kisses or like mini Halloween eggs. bars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mini eggs. That was a good one. Yeah, really and good. I feel like that actually really helps because you know, like as a teenager, sometimes we just need sugar. And <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. That's all you need. And I just feel like that so actually like helped a lot more than you know. Yeah. Thank I you. think like all of the little things that she did helped yeah. like a hundred times more yeah. than she probably realized. No, and like all the sweet little cards that we would get like yeah, at Christmas yeah, yeah. and after like no one puts in that effort anymore and you did. Like you put in that effort. Like you wrote hand like handwritten little notes for everyone. Like I'm pretty sure you picked up like special cards for each people and the like cats. Yeah. <laughs> and I just like no one does that, and you did that for us, and, even and we're like, always going to remember it. Even, like, coming in to, like, check on us on our, in our classes and stuff, yeah. and being like, so is everything going okay? And, and like, policing the teachers, yeah. loving it, <laughs> loving it. Policing the teachers is fun. Yeah. <laughs> I bet that was her favorite part, too. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right. Yeah. I'm kind of sad that, like... I feel nostalgic, and I haven't I felt that in a long time. I know. It's like... You guys remember nostalgia? Ah, uh, clever. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>